Welcome to day two. I've decided to skip over the testimony from the first witness from that day because it was nothing but emotion. The witness was the mother of the deceased and the only thing she could really testify to was that she was mourning her son, which is completely understandable. So we're moving on to the second witness. Mr. Anderson, who is the next witness? Juan Cockfield, Judge. Wow. Now that is an unfortunate name. The whole truth the nothing about the truth, something guy. I do. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Smestad. Oh, will you please state your name for the record? Um, my name is Jawan Cockfield. How do you spell your last name? C-O-C-K-F-I-E-L-D. How do you spell your first name? J-A-W-A-H-N. Uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm 19 years old. Are you uh, a student or are you working or? Yeah, I'm a student. Where's your student at? St. John's University. Now, what kind of activities are you involved in at St. John's? I'm a member of the football team and the wrestling team, and I uh, study global business. That's your major field? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, are you familiar with the person named Isaac Schumann? Yeah. How did you know Isaac? Isaac's one of my best friends. How long did you know him? Uh, since middle school. Uh, were you uh, with Isaac uh, the day that he was killed? Yes, I was. Um, or you uh, with the group of boys that were with Isaac on the uh, Apple River on July 30th of 2022? Yes, I was. Back on, on July 30th of 2022, how old were you? I was 17 years old. Had you finished high school at that point? Uh, no, I haven't started my senior year yet. Uh, was it the summer before your senior year? Yep. Uh, that's my understanding. Uh, you folks all rode over with Alex Bang to the river? Yes, sir. Right, too, is it really edge? Uh huh. Uh, yes? Yeah, sorry. Uh, did you get out of the river? Say it again? Did you get out of the river after you run into the two? Yes, sir. Um, you uh, folks drinking alcohol? Yes, sir. Uh, what kind of alcohol did you have? I had a few beers. Do you remember how many? Oh, uh, probably like three or four. Were you drinking any hard liquor at all? Uh, not that I recall. Uh, did you use any other substances? Uh, yes. Uh, what kind of substance? Uh, we smoked some marijuana. Did Isaac Schumann smoke any marijuana? No, he did not. <clears throat> um, we've heard from other witnesses that your tombs are all connected together. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. Um, at some point, I'll strike that. Did you end up taking some video recordings of some things that happened on the river that day? Yes, I did. How did you take those recordings? On uh, my cell phone. Uh, did you specifically record interactions that your group had uh, with Nikolai B with the defendant? Yes, I did. Are those recordings in two uh, separate segments? Uh, yeah. Uh, one short and one long? Yes, sir. Grown man trying to have sex with little girls. What the hell? What the fuck? He's a raper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Mr. Cockfield, is that the uh, the first uh, video you recorded of Mr. Bean that day? Yes, sir. Is that your voice? Yep. Um, so at that point, uh, were you sitting in a tube? Yep. Um, why did you start recording this? Because uh, he was just kind of looking suspicious from what I was seeing. All right. Did, was he, uh, you saw in the video that he was standing away as away from your group? Mm-hmm. Is that yes? Yeah. Uh, had he been closer at some point when you started the video? Video recording? Uh, not during that recording, no. Right. Like the first one. Okay. Um, did you hear yourself say he's he's a, a raper? Yeah. What was that all about? Uh, he had said like a weird comment. That's kind of why I started recording in the first place. Like, okay. cause he was having his snorkel, and it was like two feet deep water. So like, like what are you doing? And then he just said like a weird comment, something about like some little girls. Right. And did then, you have any girls with you in your group? No, I did not have any girls in my group. Did you see any other girls on the river here where you were? Uh, yeah, there were some girls on the river. Uh, child age girls? or uh, Not that I saw, no. Right. Um, did you know Mr. Mew at all? No. Did you know whether he was a pedophile or anything like that? No, I didn't. Were you making some conclusions based on what you saw him doing? Yeah. Person leaving. Sustained. Um, <laughs> After you, you said he was a raper, did he uh, come closer to your group? Yeah. Uh, did you restart your recording? Yeah, because after I said that, I like looked away and was like, whoa, whoa, because he looks really scary when he looked at us. And then I uh, 
I we floated up a little bit. And then, say he looked real scary. Like when I said that, I, you could see like his face look at me, and like you could see me go like, oh, and then I got scared and then stopped did recording. You, did you get angry? That you called yeah. Him yeah. Objections to the motion. One at a time, please. Yeah. Objection sustained. All right. Um, when you saw a look on his face, did you start recording again? Yeah. And the second video was it? How long after the first video? Did Probably like ten seconds. We had just floated a little bit further. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Uh, Mr. Cockfield, is that the uh, the second video that you took that day? Yes, sir. Is that your leg in the screen? Is yeah, it is. Do you see Mr. Mew's hand grabbing onto your tube there? I do. Um, it's touching your leg? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Did that cause you concern? Most definitely. Did he say anything when he came running up and grabbed onto your tube and your by your leg there? Uh, I guess I didn't hear him say anything specifically. All right. Do you recall who you were sitting next to in the tube? Yeah, I was sitting right next to Landon. Landon Wire. Landon Wire? Yeah. Uh, did you know whether he grabbed onto any of uh, uh, or made contact with any of Landon's body parts? Yeah, definitely. You saw that? Yeah. Um, once he grabbed onto your tubes and was touching your legs, what did you do? I stood up. All right. Were you concerned that he was reaching out for you? Yeah. Uh, were you able to get away? Uh, not really. I mean, did, you, did you stand up and walk away? Uh, no, I didn't walk away. <laughs> did you get out of your tube? Yeah, I just stood up in my tube so I didn't float away. Did he make any further physical contact with you after you were able to stand up? Uh, no. Did you know this person at all? No. Do you remember how long you've been on the river when he uh, ran up and... Uh, I guess I'd have to take an educated guess and say like an hour. Did you, when you first saw him, was he alone or was he with a group of people? He was alone. All right, did he ever indicate that he was with other folks? No, not from what I saw. Did you say anything to him um, at the time that he grabbed onto the... Yeah, I was just saying like, whoa, what are you doing? All right. Is that on the video? Yes, sir. Did you threaten him in any fashion? Uh, no. Did you hear Isaac Schumann uh, say anything to to the uh, Mr. Mew? No. Calls for your Overruled. Can you say that again? Did you say anything to Mr. Mew at the time that he ran up and grabbed on your tubes? No. <clears throat> um, did you and others start yelling at him to get away? Yeah. <clears throat> you remember the kind of language you were using? Yeah, we were just yelling, like, saying, like, what are you doing? Get out of here. Uh, were you calling us names? Yeah, calling him, like, a pedophile. All right, why were you calling him a pedophile? Because he was running up on some kids, and he had said a weird comment earlier. What? He grabbed it onto the, your, or touch your part of your leg? Yes, sir. Objection, you suspect you're uh, bleeding. Sustained. Uh, you were to say you were, you and your friends were making a commotion at that point? Mm -hmm. Objection. Or, yes, sir. Sustained on leading. Did somebody uh, else in the river come over to see what was going on? Yes. Did all those folks? Uh, I did not. Um, do, you, do you remember how many folks initially came over to, to look check in on you guys? Uh, not like an exact number, but it was probably like six people. All right. Uh, the first two folks over, were they uh, males or females? First one was definitely a woman. All right. Did you see the woman uh, speaking to Mr. Mew? Yes. Uh, did you hear she pulled him? Yeah, she just told him, like, get away. Like, pointing and, like, get away. Is that also recorded on the radio? Uh, yes. All right. So we're, we're going to play another portion. But before that, I'm going to ask you, as you're recording this, were you using your, your cell phone? Yeah. Were you holding it close to your face or all your arms length? Like I actually had it attached to my neck with, like, this, um, like, there's, like, a tourist thing, kind of, like, you just put it in the pouch or whatever. And, like, it's attached to my neck. It'd probably go out, like, that far. All right. Uh, is, it, is it fair to say that your recording captured some things that you yourself didn't see at the time? Yes. Uh, is it fair to say that your recording, some of the things you're recording, you weren't looking in that direction? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh God! Get we up! We up! Get back. What are you talking about? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Get away from us! What? Bro, what are you doing? What's going on with y'all, homie? He's on camera. Guys, let's go. Scripting. <laughs>
Yo, them new iPhones got that good quality. What did you say? Yo, them new iPhones got that good quality. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Who is this? Yes, yes, yes. Further, further culture. Further culture. Who is that? Further culture. Who is that? Who the hell is this? Go, go. It doesn't matter. He said he was looking for a little girl. He said he was looking for a little girl. You're looking for a little girl? Yeah. That's exactly what he said. Weirdness out. I even have that part on camera. Did I? Some young ass kid. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, did you realize that Isaac Schumann had been stabbed? Yes. How did you know that? Uh, I kind of just looked down the line of people that were hurt. I saw the first person, like, that's not my friend. That's not my friend. That's not my friend. And the last person I looked at was my guy, Isaac Kim. Did it, as the fight's going on, did you see people bleeding? Yes. At some point, did you realize what was happening? Yes. Is that, is that when you stopped laughing? Yes. What the fuck? Wait. What the fuck? He's dying. He's dying, bro. Wait, what? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we serious? Is this real? Oh my god. Who is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this real? Is this real? Oh my god. Is oh my god, what the fuck? Is this no. real? Is this real? Bike! Bro, bike! Bike! That's not 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 Isaac! Oh my god! Oh my god! This isn't real! This isn't real! Do you want to set the final part of your video that you took that day? Yes. Um, at the end, when you were saying that's not bike, who were you referring to? Uh, Isaac Schumann. Is that a nickname? Yeah. Were you able to see where Mr. Mew went after he stabbed these folks? No. <clears throat> uh, were you concerned about where he went? or were you, you know, other No. Uh, did you uh, make your way up to Isaac? Yeah. Were you able to see that he had been deported? Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you try to get some folks to help? Yeah. Eventually, did some people stop to help? Yeah. And, uh, was that a response of the people that stopped to help? Okay. Yeah. Sustained. Did you know the folks who stopped to help you? No, I did not. Eventually, you did uh, police and medical personnel show up on the road? Yes. Do you know how long it took for them to get there? Uh, no, I don't. Um, did you see Isaac get transported off the river? Yeah. Did you follow? Uh, yeah. Um, was he brought up to the, uh, the road to the bridge? Yeah. Did you speak to the officer? Uh, yeah. At some point, did you tell an officer that you had video of the incident? Yes, I did. And uh, did you show that officer the video? Uh, at the time, I just played it to the point where Mr. Mew was in it. Okay. Were, at some point, was the officer able to take a screenshot of a still from your video? Yes. That showed Mr. Mew? Yes. Yes. Isaac Sean, pardon me. Water Sean, has been marked as exhibit 38. Do you recognize that? Yes. Can you tell us what that is? That's my cell phone with uh, a still frame of me on it. Is that the still frame that the officer, the still picture the officer took of your phone that day? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Once you got up off the river, did you speak to a police officer? Uh, yeah. Briefly? Yeah. You saw what you saw happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Um, eventually, was Isaac transported to a hospital? Yes. Did you follow? Yes. Did you speak to another officer at the hospital? Yes, I did. Did you tell that officer what happened? Yes. Did you see the person in court uh, who you recorded that day and who did this? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, well, see what you learned. He's wearing uh, navy and gray pants with some brown shoes. Further. Mr. Trophacy. Um, so, Mr. Hackfield, you are currently a two sport college athlete, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. You play football and you wrestle? 
in yes. college. Yes. Okay. What position in football do you play? I play defensive end. Defensive end? Yes, sir. Can I ask you, how big are you? Uh, I'm about 5'11", probably like 235. 5'11", 235 is what you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that what you wrestle at, too? Heavyweight, yes. Back in uh, 2022, about the same size? I was a little bit smaller, yeah. Wrestle at heavyweight still? Uh, 220 pounds, yeah, back then. So you considered, back in July of 2022, you considered yourself to be a uh, fit young adult, right? Uh, I guess I'd like to think that. Okay. Yeah. And you, I'm going to ask you some questions initially about um, the interview that you gave with officers, okay? Okay. The interview that you gave with officers uh, at the hospital, you indicated that Mr. Mew told you that he was looking for a snorkel. Is that right? Uh, that is what I said. Okay. You never mentioned to officers that he told you anything about looking for little girls, correct? Well, if that's what it says. Well, in a situation where you say he's looking for little girls, do you think it would be important that you would tell officers that he told you he was looking for little girls? Uh, yeah. But you never do that, do you? I guess I didn't. Did you think it was important? Uh, I guess there was more things that were more important, but that is important in the grand scheme, yes. Right, so more important was he was looking for a snorkel. Uh, not really. Okay, but you, but you mentioned that, right? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. And do you say, if I have it right, you had three to four beers and were using marijuana? Yes. Okay. There was uh, vodka that had been brought in by your group. Okay. True? Uh, yes. In a Tito's and a wa in like water bottles. Uh, yes. Okay. Did you have any of that? No. Okay. So just the three or four beers and some marijuana. Yes. Okay. Now, you also, I guess to your credit, tell the police, you guys were antagonizing Mr. Mew, right? After the fact that he hit the woman, yes, we were. Well, you don't consider calling him a raper, antagonizing him? Uh, I mean, based on what he was doing, and it looked like that really, like, that made him chase after us afterwards, so who knows what he was really doing. My question to you is, do you believe telling him that he can't have sex with little girls and calling him a raper would be considered antagonizing? Uh, yes. And you were the one who was saying that, right? Yeah, but that's after he ran up on us and like was doing a bunch of weird stuff. Or like he looked weird, I guess I could say. Okay, I so. I'm saying that, yeah. This, and you know he's alone, right? Uh, from what I see, he looks alone. Okay, so, uh, and you know that he's, from what you see, he's kind of an older man? Yes. Not very fit? Yes. Okay, so you see an older, not very fit man walking alone, and you start calling him names. As I'm sitting on my tube, like, I'm saying, like, what are you doing with the snorkel in two feet water? And then he said something weird after that. What business is it of yours on the river, what he's doing? He's not bothering you, right? I mean, I was interacting with every single person we saw that day on the river. Okay. So like, at least most people. Joanne, my question remains, mm -hmm. what business is it of yours to bother a man who's not bothering you? I was just asking a question. What are you doing? What are you doing? And he tells you, I'm looking for a snorkel. At that point? Yeah. But the snorkel was in his hand at that point. Well, you tell him that you tell the police that he told you he's looking for a snorkel. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you then say, "Grown man can't have sex with little girls. What the hell? What the fuck? He's a raper, right?" Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. You have no information as to what this older man is doing, do you? No. Okay. And 
you say, after you call him a raper, he looks over at you, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Or yes. Wouldn't you suspect somebody that you called a raper to kind of look over at you? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Are you surprised that he looked over at you? Uh, at the time, yes. When you were calling him names, you're surprised he glanced over at you. Objection asked and answered. Overruled. You can answer. Yes. Now, can I ask you a little bit about this thing, lanyard or whatever, that you were holding your phone in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's around your neck. Yes. Okay. Can you can you tell the jury how long how long is it? Uh, it's not like that long. Like I said, I I could probably pull my phone out that much, and it's around my neck the whole time. So, can I ask you, in terms of when you're holding it, about how? I know it's not up to your face, okay? But how far away from your face or your chest do you think it would be? Yes, I could say like seven inches, eight inches. Okay, so you're not able to hold it like I'm right now. My arm is extended. You're not able to do that, right? Not much. Okay, so and I I won't get too close to you, but. So you're holding it kind of like this. Yeah. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it, you indicate to the police in your interview, they say to you, are you calling him any names? And your response to the police is, there were a couple of us guys calling him a weirdo, right? You told the police that? Yes. Okay. You don't tell the police that you're actually calling him a pedophile initially and a raper. I said on the thing that whatever else I said would be on the video. That's what I said. Okay. And you don't know what he's doing walking over by where you're at, right? No. Okay. So a raper and saying he can't have sex with little girls. You're doing that to humiliate him, aren't you? Not necessarily. Well, what other reason would you be calling him names when you don't know anything about what's happening? Trying to figure out the situation. So the way that you're trying to figure out what's happening is by calling a grown man names. Yes? Yes. And you are yelling <clears throat> at some point, get away from us. Yes. Right? Okay. And that's after he comes up to your group, right? Yes. And when he comes up to your group, you're holding your phone kind of like this, are you not? Yes, I recording. am. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And he walks around your tubes and away from your group, does he not? After engaging with us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have to be happy. You wanted him to get away from you. And he is getting away from you, right? Not much. I mean, we're just standing there, and like, he barely walked past us at all, and like, it, pretty much in our path, we can't flow past him. He's in our path. We can't. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. He walks past you guys, and you guys continue to move toward him. Is that right? Not necessarily. Move towards him? Yeah, so. What do you mean by that? If you're Mr. Mew. Okay. And at one point he turns his back to you guys. Is that true? You saw that on the tape? Yes. Okay. So this, this person that you want to get away from you is walked away from where you're standing and turned his back to you. True? Walked out of our path, like into our path from where we went from. We passed him and then he ran up on us and then went in front of us. You and your group move toward him like I'm moving toward you, right? No. Uh, well, I mean, like, the way you're describing it isn't necessarily how I would feel like we were doing it, moving towards him. It's kind of just, we were there, yeah. You were moving, your group was moving closer to where he was standing. After he had moved completely up to us. I understand. Yes. You want him to get away from you. Uh -huh. He's moving, he's moved down river a little bit, and your group is moving in his direction. True? Yeah, the way the river goes, yes, that is his direction. Okay. Yes. And... <clears throat> Do you remember, Mr. Uh, Ryan Nelson testified, Mr. Okay. Do you remember someone yelling on you in your group? You got 10 seconds. I don't recall that. Okay. What did you say?
Uh, could you play it again? I'm not sure if I did. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, them new iPhones got that good quality. What did you say? Oh, I actually did not hear it. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Um, but you would agree at that point your group is moving in his direction, yes? As the river would go, yes. Right. You don't stop, but you, you're walking with your tubes in his direction. True? Yeah, yes. Okay. And you say uh, shortly thereafter, you were asked this, you're yelling for the culture, yes. for the culture, right? Yes. And you were asked what that meant, and your response was something like for the greater good. Yeah, along those lines. Yeah, the greater good of knocking this man unconscious and letting him float down the river. Bad choices. What is the greater good of you recording that? I mean, this guy was, like I said, ran up to our group as we were floating past him, and we were causing a scene, like, what is this guy doing? Get away from us. And then people come over to help us. So that's for the culture, for the greater good. <laughs> at that point, had the people come up? Well, at, when I said for the culture, that's when the people came up. So if that's not at the point where, well, yeah. Okay, and this is all this I said it, yeah. We Sorry. try to talk one at a time, okay? Sorry about that. It's okay. So this is something that you want to record, right? This incident, yeah. you want to record this, don't you? I mean, I'm not really sure what type of question that is. Well, you don't stop. Hold on. You don't stop recording and and try to figure out the situation. You just keep recording what's going on. True. Yeah. I mean, I, why would I stop it? At that point, it looked like it was like a weird situation. I just recorded. I'm sorry. You said it looked like a weird situation. Yeah. Okay. At this point, you see Mr. Mew walk over to this blind girl. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. He's cleared a path for you all to walk through, hasn't he? Yes. You, so you have to be excited. You wanted to get away from him. You said he was standing in your path. He's moved out of your path. So your group can just go right by. True. I mean, that group came over to help us, so why would we just leave them? I want you to listen to my question. Can I hear it? He moves over. So your group can go past. Is that why he moved over? I'm not asking you that. Okay. I'm asking you, you said you wanted, you were yelling for him to get away. Huh? You wanted him to get away. Yes. You said he was standing in your path, right? Yes. He moves over out of your path. Yes. So your group, you have to be excited because your group now can go right by, right? I mean, we could float by, yes. You could have floated by. Yes. But you didn't. Yes. You stayed. Yes. Okay. And you stayed as this other group comes over. Yes. Okay. And you, on tape, yelled to this blonde, he's looking for little girls. Yes. You don't have that information. He said that. I remember right. him saying that. So he said that. Said. Hold on. You don't have that on tape. Okay. True. True. It was not on my video. And you never told that to the police. True. True. Okay. When she comes over and you choose to stay instead of actually moving on with your trip, mm -hmm. yes. you hear her yelling at him, right? Yes. Okay. And she's. Ryan Nelson described her as being in his face. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay. So, and her name is Madison Cohen. Okay, just so you know. So, you would agree that Madison Cohen is in Mr. Mew's face, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And you would agree she appears to be angry, true? Uh, yes, or concerned at least. I'm sorry? Concerned at least, yes. You don't tell her what's going on. You just say he said he's looking for little girls, right? Yes. Okay. So instead of trying to explain the situation, you're just yelling at her, saying this is what he said. Right? Yelling to her what the situation is, which would be considered explaining, kind of. 
So what's the situation? He said he was looking for little girls. So I told them, like, that's the main concern of the situation. And then he ran after us. So, yeah. And it, he ran after you, and it, instead of passing, you stay and tell her that, right? Yes. Okay. Initially, it's about, it, it's the six of you and Mr. Mew. True? Yes. Okay. yes. You'd agree when this other group comes over, now there's more people involved. Yes. Okay. And ultimately, an additional five people come over to assist. Yes. Okay. So now we're at least up to 11 or 12 people against Mr. Mew. True? Okay. Is yeah, right? true. Okay. And during this entire interaction, up to the point we are right now, we're Miss Cohen comes over. Mr. Mew's not saying anything aggressively to any of you, right? No. He's not physically doing anything to show his aggression toward you, right? No. Okay. You're not afraid of him at that point, true? Because of the people that came to help, I was not afraid of him at that right. point. Right. So, strength in numbers, right? You could say that. So, the more people that are coming over, is it fair to say, as the number of people increase, your fear level decreases. Is that fair? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And 11, 12, 13 <laughs> against one, you're feeling pretty comfortable at that point, right? Yeah. Apparently, six against one just isn't enough. You, when I say you guys, your group, the, the young Stillwater people, you begin to taunt him, don't you? That's not what do you mean by taunting? Kind of get in a circle around him and all start pointing at him that he's a pedophile. Object yeah. to the characterization of being in a circle around him. That's not the evidence. Yeah. That'll be up to the jury to decide. Objection overruled. It's cross examination. Right? Can you say that again? Sure. You guys form kind of a circle around him, a really close to him at that point, pointing like I'm pointing, gesturing, pointing at him, calling him a pedophile. Yes. Okay. And because of the way your camera is situated, you're pretty close to him as well, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. And the purpose of taunting him and calling him a pedophile and pointing at him in that situation is what? Uh, kind of just to let them know what he was doing. You already let them know what he was doing? Yeah, but I guess it was just still going on. What was still going on? What you just described. Well, I know what you're doing. Okay. The question is, why are you doing it? I guess I don't know. It was two years ago. Were you doing it to taunt him and humiliate him? Not necessarily. So why are you doing it? Said I, I guess I don't necessarily know. Any other explanation that you can think of as to why you would go around somebody pointing at him, taunting him, calling him names, other than to humiliate him. Oh. Now, you had mentioned that he had punched the blonde girl, Madison Cohen. Yes. Okay. You agree that's not on tape? Yes. Are you saying that you saw it, though? I did. Okay. When, when you say that you saw him punch her, She's in his face, yes? Yes. Okay. What happens, if you know, what happens to her? Like after he punched her? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Do you see how he punches her? I kind of just see like a hand come over towards her face or at her face, and then I just see like the follow through. I guess I didn't really see anything after that. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about that? And what I mean is, I don't want to mischaracterize what you're saying. Okay. Do you know which hand he uses? No, I can't really think about which hand he used. Okay. And when I think of a punch, maybe you and I think of it the same way. I think of a fist and somebody kind of putting their weight into it and punching somebody in the face. Is that how you think of it? I think there's, a, I guess, a bunch of ways to punch people. Okay. Like how do you see it? Like a punch? How do you see this punch? Uh, just like, kind of like a hook. Okay, so you see, yeah. you see him, and you used your right arm, right? Yeah. In that situation. Yeah. So do you believe that he uses his right arm and throws kind of a hook across? 
across. I'm not sure which arm, but it kind of felt like I saw a hook. Yes, a hook. A hook. Okay. You don't see her go down, do you? Uh, not, no. Okay. And at that point, you see this group of people attack Mr. Mew, right? Yes. yes. You see him get punched in the face and fall backwards into the river. Yes. You think that's funny, right? After he had hit a woman, I think he was sort of getting what he deserved, yes. So you thought it was funny? Uh, funny, yes, I guess. I was laughing. Yeah. And in fact, you had moved up. You got your camera. You're kind of right up in his face with this now, aren't you? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And as he's being attacked, you're laughing throughout that portion of the video, aren't you? Yes. Okay. When he gets pushed back in the water, you're still laughing after somebody had already been stabbed, right? Yeah, I didn't see it. But you're still laughing. True? True. You agree that, from what you've seen, Mr. Mew doesn't stab anyone until he's attacked. True? After he had punched the girl and then was attacked, yes, then he started stabbing people. Okay. Before that, you'd agree, would you agree the temperature kind of and what's happening is going up and up and up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. More people are showing up? Yeah. She's getting in his face? Yeah. Right? More, it's feeling more volatile to you? Yeah. And you're feeling more comfortable because of the numbers, right? Yeah. Uh, my last couple questions, Mr. Cockfield. Right? There's a point on that video that you say, I'm paraphrasing, but you hit a woman, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's not at the point in the video when you believe he struck Madison Cohen, right? What do you mean? Well, there's two. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understood what you were saying. There. Fair enough. You know, there's two women involved in this. Right? Yes. Okay. When you say he struck a woman, is when he makes contact with Riley Madison, not Madison Cohen. Do you know that? Say that again? Sure. You said he made contact with me. Yeah. There's two women, okay? Okay. If we're going to do this sequentially, okay. you say he strikes Madison Cohen with a hook. Yeah. On that video, you don't say anything about him punching Madison Cohen. No. Right? No, I don't. Have to, like, as it happens, I didn't. Right. You don't mention that on the video? Not right away. What you mention on the video is that at the time, sequentially of the video, he makes contact with Riley Matson. Then you say he hit a woman. I'm going to check, Your Honor. That's not, that's not the evidence. It's sustained. I don't have any other questions, Judge. Mr. Cockfield, thank you for your time. Mr. Smestain? Juwan, you were asked about how big you are, that you're a football player and a wrestler. Do you ever touch Mr. Mew in any fashion? Not once. Did you ever cock a fist at him or anything like that? No. Nope. Did you ever tell him you were going to give him a beat down? No. Nope. You told uh, Mr. Trophacy that you told the police that at one point he said he was looking for a snorkel. Did he actually say that at some point? Mr. Mew, I mean? Um, I'm not sure at this point. Um, when he ran up and grabbed onto your tube and made contact with your leg, did he have his snorkel in yeah, his Yeah, yeah, it's it like trying to did put he drop it out, so. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you were asked about um, whether you heard someone say you got 10 seconds. Um, you indicated you didn't hear that. Did oh, you ever I, say that? I never said that. For sure. Yeah. No. Did you ever hear anybody in your group say that? Just I did not. I'll roll. Did, did you ever hear anybody in your group say that? No. Mr. Tarofasi had asked you why you didn't uh, float by him and get away from him, and instead you continued recording. Um, did you have any idea that any of this was going to happen? No, I did not. In your wildest dreams, did you ever think would happen? No. As you sit here today, are you glad you recorded it? Yes. Uh, do you see that, John? Yes, I do. Is that a still frame from your, your video? Yes. How many people are confronting Mr. Mew in that still frame? Two. 
Uh, males or females? Females. Do you see 11 or 13 other people encircling him in that, in that photo? I do not. Do you see anybody behind him? No. Uh, what, do you, what do you see behind him? Uh, open. Looks open behind him. Is that when you panned over to your group of yeah. friends? Yeah. Or your group of friends surrounding him? Yeah. And the, the, the photos you just you watched, did you, was your group of friends surrounding Mr. Mew? Uh, no. No, it wasn't. Overruled. What was your answer? No. Were you all standing in a line? Yeah. Sustained. How was your group standing in relation to Mr. Mew and these stills that you just watched? Uh, we were just standing kind of by our tubes. Fine. Uh, when you spoke to the police, um, you told them that he punched a woman? Yes. Did you sustain? What did you, what did you, when you spoke to the police, what did you tell him uh, happened with uh, the woman? Uh, that he had hit her. And that was right after the incident? Yeah. Nothing further. Mr. Trophacy? You were asked, you're this kind of big guy, uh, did you touch Mr. Mew and you said that you hadn't, right? Mm -hmm. He never touched you either, did he? Uh, besides the very beginning when I was sitting down on my tube. Right, but otherwise, in terms of being physically aggressive, you weren't physically aggressive toward him and you weren't harmed in this at all, were you? No, I was not. Okay. And you were asked um, on redirect about, do you recall telling the police that you were looking for a snorkel and you said you didn't really recall that, right? Uh, yeah. That's so why didn't you say it? No, I'm saying I didn't really recall telling the police that. But you believe that to be true, that he told you he was looking for a snorkel, right? I guess I don't recall that. Well, if you didn't, if, my point is, if you don't believe that he told you that, why would you say it? Um, I don't know. The picture that you were shown with the two females standing in front of Mr. Mew, you, you remember that? Yes. You'd agree there's approximately 11 people standing behind those, 12, those two people, right? <clears throat> At that very moment, I'm not sure. You'd agree that there's a group of people, two groups of people, your group of people, and the other group of people have come together, right? Not necessarily all together. They were like kind of on their way, I guess. Okay, but there's your group, and then I think you testified plus at least five or six others that come over. Yes. Okay. So overall, at that point on that video, that still that you were shown, it's 12 on one, right? In that still frame, no, it wasn't. There weren't 12 people standing there? In that still frame, it was two standing next to him, if that's what you're asking me. With 10 right behind him, right? I'm about right behind him. Well, you saw the video, or you saw the still of you and your group moving forward once you say that Madison Cohen was punched, right? Yeah. You're all right there? Like, they're right here, and then he's right here. Yeah. Okay. And at that point, you were asked, well, it's open behind him, right? Yep. There's a point in the video where you pan back. Do you see where Mr. Mew's group actually is? No. You don't know if he was by himself or with other people, right? No. You don't know if your group or the group that had come over had cut him off from getting back to his people, right? I don't know. And that's a picture of uh, your friend Alex Vang and a picture of Isaac, right? Yes. Okay. Are you looking at them when you're running this camera? At this point, I, I'm just like panning around and like looking all around, I guess. What I'm interested in is, is your head, your face, your eyes, looking at where your camera's looking? No. Okay, so? I guess I don't recall technically exactly where my eyes were looking while I was panning around right at that, this still frame. Okay. But you'd agree that at this point, Mr. Mew and Ms. Cohen, there would be to, I'm looking at it, they're to the right yeah. Of this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And your cameras, you're holding it like this, right? Uh, yeah. Like this? Yep. And do you know at that point, in order to see what's going on over there, you're holding the camera straight and you're turning your head like I'm turning my head to the right. Yes? 
Can you say that again? Sorry. Well, you're, what you testified to was that your eyes aren't necessarily in the same place yes. as the camera. Yes. Okay. What I'm asking you is, you're holding the camera, showing Mr. Vang and Mr. Schumer. Yes. Okay. You're not looking at the cam. You're not looking where your camera is being pointed. Is that what you're saying? Not at every second. No. I understand. There are points that you're. Yeah. Moving around. Yes. Right. But your head, in order to see what's going on with Mr. Mew, your head is turned in this direction in order to see this confrontation that's going on. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. While you're keeping your camera here. Yeah, like I guess I can move my camera, move my head, everything can move. Good job. I don't have any other questions. Thank you, Mr. Craftfield. Thank you. You may step down. Is he released? No. All right. Uh, please see the so this is the reason I avoid children like they're dipped in feces. This kid doesn't even seem to think he did anything at all wrong. Everything was Mr. Mew's fault because he looks weird and they didn't know what he was doing. And in his defense, Mr. Mew is kind of weird. And so was his behavior. But I really don't think it warranted all this. If this sort of thing happened to me, my first reaction would be something more like, Hey friend, can I help you? You know? You gotta test the waters a little. And I can tell you what I definitely would not have done, and that's to immediately start screaming at the guy, calling him names, and accusing him of things that I don't know anything about. And while we're at it, another thing that I wouldn't do is demand for him to walk further downstream alone. In fact, I think the easiest solution here would be for me to just grab my tubes and move them closer to the opposite bank and just get out of the guy's way. No defense on Mr. Mew, he was certainly acting very weird. I just don't see that as justification for trying to kill the guy. And make no mistake, that's what was happening. There's only so many times this guy could have taken multiple blows in the head before he went unconscious and just started floating down the river. And as far as I'm concerned, if we're going to punish anyone in this case, place charges on everyone involved, even the girls. They've got no right to put their hands on him either. To me, it just looks like mutual combat, and one side is just angry that they lost. I think everyone's at fault, but I don't think Mr. Mew is guilty of any type of homicide. Although he is at least as guilty as the rest of them. But if the kids aren't getting punished, neither should he. And that's all I've got on this one. I'll be back soon with the next witness. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Die, you shit-eating son of a bitch.